Patrick. Let's go get that crown. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. You two dipsticks ain't gonna last ten seconds over the county line. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Yes. Out of the car, fellas. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. Take it easy, friend. I'm the manager of this establishment. Everything's gonna be just fine. I'm really scared here, man. You got a name? Phil? You got a family, Phil? <laughs> I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Order up. Hooray! Gary, I had that dream again. And it's finally gonna come true. Because today's the grand opening ceremony for the Krusty Krab 2. Where Mr. Krabs will announce the new manager. Yet despite his dreams, he is not honored with the manager position of the new Krusty Krab 2. Across the street, jealous of Mr. Krabs' success, the diabolical plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King Neptune's crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far-off and dangerous land of Shell City. SpongeBob selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. Patrick Squidward and I... Pass. Er, uh, Patrick and I... Hi. ...are gonna get that crown back and save you from Neptune's wrath. Your life is in our hands. Oh. Patrick, let's go get that crown. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. You two dipsticks ain't gonna last ten seconds over the county line! Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Yes. Out of the car, fellas. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation.